back to the whole group is afforded by using these sorts of technologies. And not only that, you can develop a situation where when you're giving online feedback, you're, where you're giving the same type of feedback to many students, it's going to start recording that sort of effect. So you don't have to make the same comment many, many times. It's going to actually auto-fill once you start that particular comment or use the code for that comment. More importantly, you're going to be able to consolidate that information and say, look at this. My students' key problems here are paragraphing and structuring for arguments. And they've got some minor issues to do with referencing, but pretty well they're all being tripped up on the same little technical issue. By and large, their writing skills are good, and they seem to understand this highly technical piece of work that I've asked them to assess. So I now know that what I can do is take the next concept that I was going to be teaching in class on, because they're ready for it, but I need to find a way of providing them with some support in how to do good paragraphing and structure their work to lead the reader through a really sound argument. With that information, my teaching is going to be much more effective, much more relevant, and students are actually going to have an enhanced learning experience. So that is just one example of how heading towards a digital learning threshold enhances teaching and can enhance learning.